Good morning. Day after surgery, I feel fine. No big deal. I really want to go to the gym. I'm gonna be smart, chill out today. I'm gonna finish watching Westworld and drink coffee this morning. Boop, boop, boop. Can't really beat that. And I'll probably do some upper body stuff this afternoon. I'll lay around and do some seated, seated stuff. Back to it, right? That's the plan. So that's that stupid thing you tell her. That's where my torn ACL is. Hole shouldn't be there. So that's how it worked. That's how she looks. They get those big bitches out of my knee though. Super stuck those babies are out of there. ACL, easy stuff. Get it fixed again. And it won't be as bad. It'll be pretty easy rehab because there isn't this major trauma that caused the tearing of the ACL and the rest of the knee's not all pissy. Like, I'll be sweet when I go in. The same way I was last time, the oats procedure was by far the tough part. All right, so first day out, do some seated shoulder stuff. It's really the only good option I got, but I'm stir crazy and I gotta do something. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some seated press, not with that, <laughs> change it up a little bit. And then do some other shoulder accessories. Basically try to stay seated the whole time, not aggravate the knee. I'm really less than 24 hours out of the surgery. So not being stupid, the knee really doesn't hurt and I wanna keep it that way. No reason to try to push and get some stupid setback today. <laughs> There's easy training. There's getting the work in day after surgery. Trying to be smart. Trying to keep on the path I'm on. Keep making progress. It's super light, super low intensity. 
but I kept rest really short so that the whole thing kind of ends up working as cardio, burn some extra calories, maybe get rid of some extra fat, get rid of some surgery bloat, thumbs up. Just got a call from the wife, devastating news. We have to go up to LSU's, uh, up to the vet school, some type of animal goddamn thing going on. We're gonna check out some animals. I haven't been fully explained actually what we're doing. I just heard animals and get dressed. We're going to the LSU vet school open house. I don't even know what that means. Me right? neither, but vets. Claire sent me about five pictures of animals all like to hug and kiss. So oh we're going. <laughs> we're going to go fucking hang out with farm animals. <laughs> Baby farm animals. Oh, that makes them better. Did you see a little cow? I want to hug on that cow. Let's get a mini cow. Oh, I'm just cruising around the backyard. Just a little mini cow, a little mini horse. Like Robin Big. Splits on a horse. All right. We're gonna go splitsies. Put a stable in my. Nah, it can just chill. Go between. All right, animal party's done. That was fucking awesome. We're gonna. I think we're gonna start a farm. Just hang out with animals next to the pool. Send us your bones and your animals. Rogue One, finally. Uh, prepare yourself for a less than comprehensive review. Mostly emotional. We're gonna pop off, go see Rogue One. Really excited about it, been wanting to see it. We just haven't squished the time out, right? That's one way to put it. How would you put it? Squish the time out? <laughs> yeah, squish the time out. I don't like that. What? You're smelling thing. It's not a great smell. Trees. It doesn't smell like trees at all. Apparently you've never been around trees. Trees don't smell like... It's like a sweet tree. <laughs> it's thing. It smells like fruit. It's like Christmas trees with nope. sugar. No, nope, no, nope. Just smells like Put old candy. Put your on. I will never! You gonna fucking juice it? Fucking 80 on this road? <laughs> Trying to send everyone to jail. What's up? Back home. Great movie. Got a board. It's like 7 o'clock. I think I'm going to go hang out in the gym. I'm going to do a little bit of cardio and watch some YouTube videos. Burn a couple extra calories and do some mobility stuff like that. I really can't do a lot with the knee, but I can work on the shoulder and dig into the peg for a while. That gives me something to do. No doubt, this is always one of my favorite places. The beauty of it is, it's Saturday night, 7 o'clock. I feel like sitting on the assault bike instead of sitting, you know, in there. So getting in tonight and doing this little bit of extra cardio and mobility just extra. It's just extra work. Uh, it's right now trying to lose weight, lose some body fat, 
why not squeeze in just an extra couple calories I can burn instead of sitting at my desk, right? And it seems the more I do, even if I'm not using the leg right now because I had surgery yesterday. Everything helps my recovery. Everything kind of helps everything start getting back together, and getting back moving. Uh, so we're gonna get through this pec issue, all the way through the traps. But it's just the way I look at it with cardio and stuff like that for some fat loss, which I'm not great at. It's just trying to continually keep stealing away from it, right? Burn a few more calories throughout the day, why not? And every time I'm on the bike, I'll try to do something to really spike the heart rate up and then let it come back down so that it's working like, like hit training. Doing some intervals, burn a little bit more fat. Ah, uh, oh, fuck you. I'm gonna lift tomorrow, just don't know what yet. Maybe get out of here, see what Andy and that crew is doing. I know the wife's gonna go to New Orleans. But that's a day, it's pretty good. So I got a quick workout in this morning, hang out with the wife, go see a movie. Now I'm back home, back in the gym. Diet was really good today, has been really good, sticking to it. It looks sweet from that angle, and then it gets all cruddy. That's all right, gonna get there. I really appreciate all of the like positive stuff with having to do with the knee and you know this how much you guys seem to appreciate my positive mindset um man there are good days and bad days but I took this year off or I'm taking this year off to do this right but I'm not doing it to do it right so that I can get back to throwing I'm doing it so that I have a healthy knee for me for the rest of my life I'm doing it so that I can pursue whatever I want to pursue. And right now I can't. I've got to get this sorted out while I've got time, why I'm at the right age, why I'm healthy, and go from there. If I'm able to throw next year, that's awesome. If I'm not, that's cool too. Throwing's been great, I've loved it. I'm not ready to leave doing it yet. I still love throwing, I love traveling, I love being with those guys but I can choose to still see and do all those things, right? But it's gonna be a matter of whether or not the body's gonna let me. So I'm not gonna go in it with any, I get this done and I'll be a superhero. I'm going in it with the right mindset of like, I'm gonna rehab and start over. I'm starting over building a base that I can really build almost the second part of, let's just say my strength career on. This is a much needed break and reset and change of goals to weight loss, it's refreshing. It's, it's what I need to go forward. So hope you guys can follow that. I'm still down about 20 pounds from where we ended the season and kind of started all this. And I uh, really want to get into those 250s. Never, I saw 258 three years, two years ago when I lost some weight. But that was like for 45 seconds. So I want to get into the 250s and see how I feel and how things are going. Because my bench is still real strong right now. And I, have a, I imagine everything else is going to be fine once I can get back to doing it. But I've got to get back the right way. So the focus will still be back on mobility with my hips and back as soon as I can get back to moving. Which should be pretty soon. And then I'll have surgery again. <laughs> and then it'll be a little longer haul with the ACL. <sighs> that's a night. And that's a whole day. Thank you guys for hanging out. Like, subscribe, and share with your friends, if possible, and comment. And I uh, try to respond to as many of you guys as I can. Thanks as always. I hope you guys are enjoying the more constant uploads. Try to do it while I've got time. I know that it will fade. But for right now, I'm trying to keep you guys informed as much as you can in my rehab and where my mental thing is going with injuries. I know a lot of you guys are dealing with injuries or coming back from. And they can be a major roadblock, and they can be this real setback that gets you down. <sighs> Remember the big picture. Remember that you're healthy enough and that you've got enough time in your life to, to train, which is really a luxury because you're not out having to plow a field or defend your castle or any of these other things that have happened throughout the history of time. We have a lot of freedom now. And remember that this is a hobby and this is something you love. Don't let this be something that rules your life. On that note, have a great night. Spread hate. Always party.